Hey, hey, Mzansi. Mzansi, former radio DJ Ngi Zwemtunu made a brief appearance before the Randberg's Magistrate Court on Wednesday on a charge of incitement to commit public violence. Now, before he was remanded in custody until next Wednesday for a formal bail application. The National Prosecuting Authority spokesperson Mtunzi Mhanga said Mkunu allegedly made utterances during a press conference in Johannesburg and these amounted to incitement to commit public violence. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News Mzansi. Now if you're new to my channel, you know you're here for the story, go ahead click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update. So Mzansi Mkunu, a staunch supporter of former President Jacob Zuma, left police headquarters in Durban in handcuffs on Monday and was transported to Johannesburg to face charges. We will be opposing bail. When he heard he was wanted by law enforcement, he allegedly left Johannesburg through a private jet, Mahanga said. Mahanga also said when the pressure mounted for him to be arrested, then Mkunu handed himself to the police. We will be arguing he is a flight risk. We will be arguing that, in, that incidents of commission of these offences induced outrage within the community, he said. Mahanga also said the NPA has assessed the video of Nkunu's address and have used an Isizulu translator. We are convinced that the words that he used amount to the commission of an offence of incitement to commit public violence. Mahanga also said the NPA was analysing the evidence it had and was conducting further investigations with the possibility of adding other charges. Mkuno will be held at the police station in Johannesburg until he reappears on July 28th. Bonginko Sikanyile, a fees mask for activist who said he represented Mkunu's family, said outside the court that the family was saddened about how the court had handled the matter of bail. The family is dumbfounded because those who were inside the court were able to see that this was a Schedule 1 offence and under normal circumstances, when it is a Schedule 1 offence, bail becomes something which is automatic. Today, we were not able to see that, but the case was postponed to the 28th, he said. Now watch the video coming up next. Do let me know your thoughts on the comment section below i love to hear from you but for now you know i will bring you the updates hot just the way you like it i am here to speak on behalf of gizem tunu's family uh, the family of course it is very certain about how the court has handled the matter today the family of course it is very dumbfounded because those who were inside the court I'm sure they were able to see that this was a Schedule 1 offence. And under normal circumstances or under, normal, uh, under ordinary situation, when it is Schedule 1 offence, bail becomes something which becomes automatic. But today, we're not able to see that. Instead, uh, the case was postponed for the 28th. So on behalf of the family, uh, as I've been chosen by the family to come and declare, that we are very dumbfounded about how the courts has dealt with the matter. And if the courts will continue to deal with this matter, we're very worried whether justice is going to be served. The reluctance to grant him bail was based on the state saying he's a flight risk because they have evidence that he left Gauteng with the private jet to Durban after realizing the police were looking for him. Do you know about this private jet? Whose jet was it? Can you confirm that it happened? I, I cannot confirm on the private jet, but what I can tell you now is that if I live with a private jet and I also come back because I see on the news that I'm looked by the cops, I come back and I go submit myself. How do you say now I'm a flood risk? Any sane person can tell you now. If the police say they are looking for you and you go, you submit yourself, how am I be the very first person to run away from the case? So you can't make any, any, to be fair, any he, didn't, he didn't just submit himself. He had posted a number of oh. times that he is evading the arrest and, and he was scared of being arrested by the police. And, uh, we know Ngizo Mkunu, he has never been scared. We know Ngizo Mkunu, he, he has never, it, 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 it's us who are close to him. I can tell you now, he's an innocent man. And just to make these things clear, it is very wrong of government. When people are looting the malls, when people are, are, are looting the streets and you want to blame few individuals, 